Hey YouTube, got another DIY project for you today. Uh, this one is um, a water heater blanket. And what this does is it just goes around the hot water heater to uh, give it some extra insulation. Uh, Cause a lot of people don't realize that the hot water heater is a, a big energy user in the house. Uh, next to like your HVAC unit, um, your hot water heater is next. It just it has these elements on the inside of the hot water heater uh, that heats up the water and it, they just uh, constantly cycle on and off with the thermostat. And you know, if you can put some sort of insulation around yours, it's going to be better because uh, it just insulates the the tank and behind the uh, the metal casing here on the inside is uh, some insulation so uh, it does come with some insulation around the metal tank but you know this is just to uh, give a little extra they say one way that you can test a hot water heater to find out if it um, needs uh, more insulation or not on the outside of it is to test it and see if it feels warm and if it feels warm then you know that um, there's a lot of heat escaping out of the hot water heater and so uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and uh, put some uh, insulation around it to uh, go ahead and insulate a little bit further. Um, I did check uh, like Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, and to be honest with you, uh, uh, Lowe's, no, I'm sorry, Home Depot uh, was the uh, cheapest. Uh, I found this Everbuilt uh, brand hot water heater blanket, and it has an R value of 9 some of the other ones that I checked uh, at like uh, Lowe's and Walmart uh, from some of the bigger names, uh, they had uh, less of a, an R value and they were more expensive. So make sure you shop around on these. Not all of them are the same. And also uh, check out the sizes of these. Um, you know, make sure you're getting one that'll cover uh, most of the unit. And so that is definitely important and the, I guess the best thing that you should look for is the the R value and this one's a nine so anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and install this and uh, it's gonna be kind of a chore because I don't have very much room right there around the back where I have uh, this semi-rigid uh, dryer vent coming out down there with an elbow and then it goes right out around the uh, the outside vent and as you can see i had uh, a little bit of a an air leakage around that vent so i just sprayed a little air uh spray foam in there to seal out all the uh the air so i can make the house as tight as possible and you know if you can cut down on all these little leakages you can really save a lot on your your electric bill so that's what i'm trying to do and uh just bear with me all right guys I'm back. I just got through uh, wrapping the hot water heater and uh, just now finished it up. And uh, as you can see, uh, it says to uh, trim around this pop-off valve right here. And uh, I left the tag on it so it'd still be easy to see. And then I took and uh, just uh, taped it up to hold it up right here, even though uh, it was a pretty tight fit right there against that hose. So that hose pretty much keeps it in place. And, uh, you know, this pop-off valve pretty much keeps it pulled tight on this side. But you don't want it to, to be real tight because you don't want to collapse the insulation because that's how the, the insulation works is you, you want to leave it expanded out and not, uh, you know, pack it and pull it so tight. So I tried to leave it kind of slack. But then right here, I've got to finish cutting out around the doors for the hot water heater element. I just left them kind of uh, loose right there. So that's probably how I'm going to leave mine. Uh, so it is what it is, guys. Uh, it's not a, a, a long project. It might take you all of five to ten minutes. And this is an electric hot water heater. And so uh, it should uh, save me on my electric bill. And... You can pick one of these uh, hot water heater blankets up like I did at Home Depot. This is their, um, let's see here, this is their Everbuilt brand. So it's pretty much the house brand uh, blanket. And, um, you know, like I said, it really compares and uh, 
exceeded some of the other top brand uh, hot water heater blankets out there. So uh, check it out and uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And I've already showed you a couple other tips on how to drain your hot water heater. And, and um, anyways, guys, talk to you later.